Hey, I'm FD, and we're back with the National. We're gonna take a deeper look this time and show you way more people in the hobby. Hey, yo, G, drop the beat. Welcome back for part two, where we're about to take a deeper dive and rolling with FD at the National. We're gonna introduce you to some vendors that you may not have seen before, but we're gonna show them to you today. And we're gonna have great conversations on cards, the hobby, investing, everything is coming your way. Let's go. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? All right, brother. Can I go in? Sure. Yeah, this is straight old school. Wow. Taylor brings back some memories, man. May I look at this Korean car? Sure, can. Go ahead and pull it out of there. It's a nice car. Look how simple cars used to be. Look how simple that pose is. Very nice. It's six year in the league. Interesting. Man. Sometimes you gotta stay on your budget though. There you go, sir. It's a nice car. Thank you. Is 175 the solid price? Nah, we can do a little bit better for you. Let me think about it, I'm gonna come back. Okay, there's 601. All right, brother. After checking out the Kareem card, oh, we keep looking around. We're moving all around the floor, trying to talk to people. And I get a great opportunity to meet someone from St. Louis, where I've lived before. I remember when this Jeter came out, dude. That was classic baseball. And we even got a gun smoke up in here. Wow. Just so you know, these cars here, black borders, chill easily. Like, look along here. Very hard to grade, but it makes them, the value of them pop up. How you doing, sir? We're good, how are you? All right. You from St. Louis? Born in St. Louis. Uh, I live across from Kansas City now. How long you been collecting? I don't Oh, you got Kirk Floyd? I got Kirk I've always wanted a Kirk Floyd autograph. When I was in the Navy, I, I went to his car, sat there and drank a long coat with him for three hours, and we talked to Kirk and baseball. He doesn't get enough respect. People don't know what he did for everybody that plays sports today. That guy was as smart as anybody I ever talked to. Yes, sir. I want him to go to Nashville, St. Louis. I think it was 96. I want to talk to him about that and see if he remembers. Kurt said, since we're old friends, That's right. I kept that thing. That was 1972. That mm. was 50 years. Yeah. That was one of my favorite memories. Oh, yeah. That's a great memory. That great story there. What's your name? Bob McLean. FD. FD. Nice to meet you, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. I appreciate you saying, telling me that story. I don't even know what this is. I'm going to ask about this. What is this, sir? What are these? Those are what we call decals. They, they were inserted in 1969. Uh -huh. Top set. And you can peel them off and stick them on something? You kind of rub them. Oh, you rub them? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't try it now. Might work. I had never seen, yeah, so I, I wanted to get educated. Yeah, plastic film, clear plastic on top, like a wax packing. Okay. There were some uh, major players in that particular set. Mantle, Aaron, Mays. Thank you, sir, for that. Let me know if you got any questions. All right. What's the name of your, your store? It's not a store. It's Coach S's Cards. It's actually my dad's uh, name that he came up with. Are you out of St. Louis? Are y'all connected? Yeah. We all know each other. Okay. Though. Very nice, man. Very nice. Just browsing, man. Just seeing what you have. So how do I stay in contact with you after the show? Do you have a card or something? Some business cards. My dad's all right, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. Give me your name again. Eric Estes. FD. Nice, nice to meet to you, brother. Have you have a good one, man. Get to know people, walk up and talk to people, get people's information, stay in contact. It will help you in the long run. Build relationships. Networking and meeting people is what the hobby is all about, in my humble opinion. And I love doing it. So I'm going to show you now that we're going to continue to do that and meet more and more people. What's your name? Kaden. FD. Nice to meet you. You got a lot of heat here, though. Check this out. Oh, look. We got some LeBron, some books over there. It's a good LeBron card with autograph. 3500 very nice. Man, he has a nice selection, man. Look at this, though. This is 2500 right? Look at this in a nine. It's 25000 So how much room is on this car? A lot. Where are you out of? Cincinnati. Okay, you got a brick and mortar or are you online? Uh, online. Okay. You got a business card or anything? Brother. Thank you. Terry? All right, thank you, sir. Oh, wow. You see this car right here, man? Hey, what year is this Vladdy card? 2020 transcend. Hey, I mean, I can't read the price. All right, don't worry about it. 2020 transcend. Really? Very nice. Where did you get fries from, bro? That's the question. Rob Hub in? Yeah, but it's called Angry Egg. Angry Egg. Like, 
Ang Angry Eddie? Angry Egg? Hey, you got me on camera. Angry Egg. Angry Egg, man. He's giving a shout out. Where you guys from? From LA, but I grew up in Chicago. But we live in LA now. I'm from New York. I could tell. I could definitely tell East Coast, let me say. How firm is that price? I got room, you want to take a look at it? Yeah. Can you grab it if I take it? I think so, yeah. Wow, wow, that's a, that's a, I haven't held one of these before. That's a heavy car. Feel that. That's a heavy car, bro. Yeah. So what was his rookie year, 2018? 19. I appreciate you. What's your name? Uh, FD. FD. Nice to meet you. We continue to move around and we see a great looking booth. Card talk. Let's talk to him. How you doing? Going on, man? All right, man. Check out the 50K must card. Very it's nice. Got, it's got an NFT attached. Yeah. It's a, yep. uh, it's a crazy card. Super rare. The guy that set it off, legendary collector, this guy's name is Yamwax, sent out 50 of them all over the country. Okay. All over the place to influencers, card, big card store owners big social media followings just as a gift and Mint did it with an NFT it's got like the whole, the whole crazy story behind it um, it's the only car that you must have ever been on if you scan the QR code then it tells you, you know, it takes you to the whole story of the car and the NFT and then he donated one to Ken Golden here it's going to auction and all the money that it raises on the auction is all going to charity okay none have ever sold I put the 50k sticker on it just because I don't really don't want to sell it okay. so I just put a number on there that I thought it was absurd that nobody would ever pay me because I want to keep it um, as a gift but I'm very curious to see what the one sells for it. so am I I saw something about it on Instagram oh yeah yeah, yeah. he's he, because he sent it to every you know it's all these big mm -hmm. accounts and then people reposted it pretty cool I, I honestly have no clue what it's worth cool car man very cool what's your name Jason FD Man. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, Very I'm nice. the producer of uh, Car Talk Pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, ever, did you ever check out the show? I've checked it out once. Nice. You gotta check out Rolling with FD. I'll check it out, man. Check it out, bro. Shoot us, give, give us a follow at, at Car Talk Pod on Insta. I'll, I'll give you a follow back. I'll check it out. You check it out, you let me know. I'll definitely check it out. We're doing big things, man. I'm trying to. I hear you. We keep it real on the show, man. Love it. Yeah, brother. Love it. Have a good one. This is my home city right here. Everything you can want for Patty Mahomes. Just to keep it real, we got a Lynn Dawson in the corner. We gotta be from Kansas City. It has nothing to do with that. Whether I'm in LA, New York, Boston, Houston, wherever. Oh, Patty sells wherever, right? Yeah. They want him everywhere. That's right. I'll be in Florida in a month and I'll have this, what's left of it there. What's your name? Randy Cook. FD. FD, nice, nice to, to meet you. Sir. Randy, you got a, a website or? Well, I used, to, I used to do a radio show, but I don't. Even... You have a radio show voice. I'll say that. Yeah. For sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Randy. You're welcome. When I'm, when I'm more in the market for my homes, I'm going to reach out to you. That'd be nice. I never hear back on my business cards, but you would be one of the first. You don't hear back on your business cards? Are you going to hear back from me? <laughs> Hey, this is a challenge. Yeah, you're there going, you go. You're going to hear back from me, Randy. Challenge me, too. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, both of us, we got to hit him up, right? right? If nothing else, it's good floss. All right. I'm going to do more than floss with it. Thank you, Randy. We continue to move around the Florida National, and as I'm walking around, G and I see Sasha T, and we stop to talk. What you looking for? LeBron, Kobe, Jordan, stuff. Yeah. All hot, all hot. Well, uh, we hit up the Thursday night trade night. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, bro. That was an event, man. I've never been anything like that. Me neither. We so hit the floor, and I just started moving around. Good. You making any deals over there? Oh, a little bit. I got an on-car Mike Trout. First Mike Trout on-car to ever have. There you go. You find anything here? Uh, not really. We've been just trying to move around and network and meet more people, man. Uh, yeah, it's a good spot to do it. Just wanted to stop and say what's up, brother. Yeah, yeah, man. See you Always all over good. now. Oh, yeah. yeah. I see you back in LA. I know. I'm down. I'm we want to stop by. I saw your show on uh, the new Burbank. You Ooh. should. Show. Yeah, we want to stop and hit that fishbowl, man. See what's going down. There's some money to be made. In yeah, I think so, too. There's some money to be made. Yes, sir. $5 cars for later. That's right. Could yeah, blow up later. 40 bucks. You have a good one, brother. Right, bro. Love what you do, bro. It was cool seeing Sasha and being able to talk to him. And now we keep moving and we come across a table of a vendor who's been at the National several times. Cool conversation. So what do you collect? Anything that will make me money. Oh, I like that. What's your name? My name's Jennifer. Jennifer FD. FD? Yeah. Very good nice to meet, to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. I take it this is not your first National, correct? Not my first National. How many have you been to? This is my you have a storefront or you sell off online? So we sell majority on eBay. Okay. Then we do these kind of trade shows. All right. And where are y'all based out of? 10 minutes down the road at Display. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Can I grab a card? Or? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. You have a good one.
It's always a humbling experience for me to bump into someone in the show that watches Rolling with FD. I ask questions to understand what they like, what they may not like. I want feedback. And this gentleman right here delivers. You got my man Adam here. How's the Bulls 101? You got your, you're a Trubisky fan? When I realized he might be traded to the Colts. Okay. I became a Trubisky fan. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. Oh, wow. And then a first print. Haley Deegan? First print. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber rookie autograph. Very nice, man. These things are catching fire. Rookie cards are people outside of sports. I have a one-on-one -on -one Hannah Montana here too, wow. I think. Yeah, the top spot, 2007 Hannah Montana rookie. Oh yeah. So give them your Instagram. Uh, it's underscore dot w dot i dot t dot underscore. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you watch the show? I do. You like it? Yeah, I said, and I've been doing a lot of this, so I sit at home and I watch car, car show vlogs. Uh -huh. And yours popped up and I've just been watching them. What do you like about it? Just you're, you're genuine. I try to be, bro. Yeah, you seem like a nice man. Doing your thing. So when we started this, I said this over and over again, I wanted to start a show that was just that, like real all the time. Yeah. Talking to people, understanding more about the hobby, uh, trying to educate folks on things they can do to collect whatever they collect, uh, have conversations with people. Uh, G and I are pretty chilled out. Right? Yeah. But uh, I have a background in sales, yeah. uh, so I just love talking to people all the time and uh, spending time with them. So. That's what it's really all about. I appreciate you coming up. Appreciate you. Uh, so where are you out of? I'm out of Louisiana. Okay. Yeah. I was about to say, if you live in LA and we see each other, you let us home, man. All right, man. Say what's up. All right, bro. After we finish with a great viewer of Rolling With FD, we move on. And as I'm walking, I see far away. To the moon collectibles! Hi, guys. To the moon collectibles. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Uh, to the moon. To the moon, baby. Got a KD, you don't find these raw too often. This is a glossy KD rookie. This is the kind of stuff you can find like that vendors are just kind of hiding. So you ask them, hey, maybe you have anything under the table. Yeah, all the time. This is a Kobe Bryant sweet swatches um, numbered to 50. This is a Trey Young rookie jersey um, numbered to 99. This one was my favorite out of all of them just because I like LeBron. It's numbered to 99. It's got LeBron and Wade versus Tony Parker and Leonard. Yeah really sick card and then I just these are super liquid for us ball yeah Buy those this is a really another really cool one a black refractor of Ray Allen number to 500 yeah a Trey Young and then some Kobe's and then this was my dad's favorite Muhammad Ali out of 70. let me see this we already nice card man DK Metcalf RPA very nice man you're racking and stacking young man yeah we just been hustling you know this whole weekend for us has just been buy 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 i mean i want to sell stuff too but the prices here are just way too good not to i just i'm not a big fan of selling at shows i mean you don't get max value like you do when you that's take right. it home that's right so if you can just bring it save up your cash for a couple months and then bring it to a show like this and then just take it home and sell it you're going to do a lot better than trying to cash out with a vendor at a show totally agree um, because they have to make their money too at the end of the day it's not that they're trying to lowball you it's just they got to make their money True. as well but so so where are you where are you out of we're out of nebraska what part of nebraska omaha okay yeah and uh yeah i mean we got into this hobby six months ago and um came in with a plan and been executing and we've got a lot of great business so i want to give them a shot of, yeah shot get that what not yeah that's why i asked um, very yeah, nice that's what we are all about is we're all about building a community and being for the hobby so I like to do a lot of brand ambassadorships with a lot of different businesses yes. and um, just get them involved too because not only is it my brand I'm representing I'm representing all the companies and giving them support and they give it back to me plenty so so what we do is rolling on FD it's to talk to people like you who are good ambassadors of the hobby yeah get your view but there may be people that may not know you right now right they may know you after this I so I'll follow you every day, all day on Instagram. Yeah. We love going live. We're live usually yeah, two, all times, of that. two times a day. Yeah. But, you know, it could be the littlest thing. One of my best things ever is doing lunchtime with Moon and just eating lunch on live and just talking to people, man. Because there's tons of people that love to talk about this, but they're sometimes too afraid to talk to people. That's I'm true. Gonna, I want to be one of those guys where you can approach me, ask me anything. You can send me a message. I'll reply to you. That's been my motto since day one. And I've... No matter how big we get, I want to stick with that. And we do the same thing. If anybody comments on uh, YouTube content, right. we make sure to reply to them. Absolutely. Let them know it's a community. Absolutely. We're here to talk and we're here to learn. Right. This this would not be what it is right now if it, we weren't all for the hobby, you know? That's right, brother. It was a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you, yes, too. Sir. I'll be in contact with you. We might set up an interview or something with Absol you. I love it. I, I do it all it. the time. You'd so. be a great person to talk to. I appreciate it, man. All right, brother. Hey, thank you. You have a good one, man. Hey, thank you. Moon.